hell is a buffer? Here's an analogy. If you're driving on a bumpy road and you have really good shocks, you're not going to feel how bumpy the road actually is because those shock absorbers absorb a lot of that motion so you don't feel it. A buffer works exactly the same way. So in chemistry and in biology, a buffer is something that's going to absorb excess protons or hydroxide ions in order to keep the pH very, very stable. So in the human body, for example, we have the bicarbonate buffer system, which is going to maintain blood pH between 7.35 and 7.45. And this happens by shifting an equation to the left or to the right to either absorb excess protons if there are too many of them, or to release protons if there aren't enough. So you can sort of think about it like a chemical sponge. We're actually surrounded surrounded by buffers. So if you think about shampoo, shampoo contains detergents. That's how they clean. Detergents are alkaline, so they're, they're basic. And if you had an alkaline solution and you put it on your scalp, it's going to cause a lot of irritation. So the shampoo contains buffers. If you look at the ingredients, you'll probably see citric acid, sodium citrate in there. And that's a buffer to balance the alkalinity of the detergent so that the solution that you put on your scalp won't be irritating. So buffers are everywhere and they keep solutions from changing pH too much. Just like a shock absorber gives you a nice smooth ride no matter how bumpy the road is.